You guys have been asking me on stream to do my ranking for Star Wars shows and movies, so I'm finally going to do this and put a video out for you guys so you can see what my rankings are and why. So here we go. We found this tier list, and, um, you know, it's not all-encompassing, but it has quite a few on here, so we're just going to get this one out of the way. Empire Strikes Back, absolutely S tier. One of the best Star Wars movies that ever was. It was just has one of the biggest moments in Star Wars where, no, I am your father. Spoilers, by the way. Just so good. And then, of course, we have to throw Revenge of the Sith right up there with it. You could argue one of the best lightsaber combat fights in all of Star Wars. It was just, it was just so good. Anakin versus Obi-Wan, like, that was amazing, man. That was, like, one of the best lightsaber fights. And they didn't use stunt doubles. Like, that... And my, I mean, you just think about that and how much practice it took to be like that and that good and that fast. So, oh, solo, man. Some of you guys are really going to hate me for this, but I actually thought it was a B. It's not, it's not that bad. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't that bad. It was okay. It was okay. Return of the Jedi, A tier. For me, like number one is Empire and Return of the Jedi is like number three or so on my list of number like one through five. But yeah, that's a that's a solid movie. Great moments in it. This animated, I couldn't even get through the first couple of episodes. It was just terrible. I just I just didn't like it. It it was just it was just not that good. All right, let's start getting into some more of these uh prequels. Last Jedi, as you guys know, just dog water for me. There were some great moments. Don't get me wrong. There were some great moments in it, but dog water. The Force Awakens, eh, you know, I could probably put it as a B. It, it, it was, it was okay. It was a good start back into Star Wars. It wasn't what we all hoped, but it was, it was good. At least from the sense of we hadn't had Star Wars in a long time, and so it was interesting. The Mandalorian, I think that was actually a pretty good show. I'm gonna give it a B. First season was really good. Second season, not as bad. Third season, it was okay, you know. But, I mean, it was good to have, like, the space western back, right? Not bad, not bad. All right, episode one. Mm, this is a tough one, man, because overall it was an okay episode. It's got to be a C or a B for me. It's got to, you know what, I'm going to put Solo a C, and I'm going to put episode one is a B. The only reason why it's a B is because of the Darth Maul fight with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn. I mean, that was, that was amazing guys. That was just, ah, so good. Rogue One, excellent, excellent film. It's in my A tier list. Just amazing. Darth Vader at the end. Yeah. Episode two, man, it could have been better. I mean, honestly, I think it's probably C. It could have been better. There, there's just, there's just some things in it that just weren't as good as I was hoping for. And like, I was really hoping we get to see more of Jango Fett. And the kind of the way he went out was kind of lameo. But it, I mean, and it was Mace, but it was just, I don't know. It could have been better. Star Wars Rebels, dude, don't sleep on this show. The first season is really hard to get through, but it has some of the most amazing storytelling in Star Wars. Rebels is a fantastic show, guys. Go watch it. Kanan Jarrus. Amazing Jedi. He's my number two favorite Jedi of all time. Go watch it. Amazing, amazing. Just, just get through season one, guys. Just get through season one. Clone Wars. If you don't put this at S tier, I don't think you're really a Star Wars fan because this had some of the best Star Wars in it. Granted, there's a lot of filler, right? There's a lot of filler in there. There's some episodes that you're kind of like, I could just completely skip this. It was not that great. But Clone Wars was, oh, it was so good, man. It was so good. New Hope. Wasn't bad. I put that as a B. Wasn't a bad Star Wars movie. It was a really good one. I mean, I have a lot of memories of that one, watching New Hope when I was a kid. But I wouldn't say it's like one of the best Star Wars. But it was, it was a really good introduction into the universe. And last is The Rise of Skywalker, which I thought D. I don't even know what to say on that, guys, honestly. It, was, it just could have been better. Could have been better. The ending could have been better. The whole Rey Skywalker thing. I didn't like that she took his name. Like, let her be her own character, man. Yeah, that's my that's that's my tier listing. You guys let me know in the comments below where I was wrong. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe, or we will execute Order 66. Order Check out 66. our other videos on the screen as well. Yes, my lord. <laughs> Master. Master.